All right, so if you guys didn't already see from this video, my family raises tomatoes for red gold. And we have this little competitor called Heinz. I don't probably, you probably never heard of him before. This is a real little guy. He, you know, you don't see him very often. He's not really around that much. But I'm gonna give you guys a little tutorial on the things you can do with a red gold tomato and the things you can do with a Heinz tomato. Look at that. That's Indiana grown red gold fruit. Now I'm gonna show you guys what you can do with this fruit. This is red gold fruit. Mmm. That's good stuff. Now I'm gonna show you what you can do with a Heinz tomato. All right, so before you guys go off the internet and say that I'm sitting here bad-mouthing Heinz, I'm really not. They seem like great people. I don't really know them that well, but they seem like good people. Just in my opinion, there's a quality difference. And uh, there's red gold quality and there's Heinz quality. That's all I'm saying. All right, so I'm down at our hamster piece. This is one of our four tomato fields this year. There's 136 acres in this field. And as you can see, there's a ton of red. Uh, this variety, these are 331s. It's just one of the varieties that Red Gold makes this plant. So I'm gonna get in the vine trainer. And basically what the vine trainer does is it's gonna open up this uh, drive track right here and this drive track right here. And what that's gonna let me do is that's gonna let me get in with the vine diverter and grab bed after bed, and I'm gonna to toss them over onto another bed. So I'll keep opening it up, opening it up. I'll do that with six beds until I finally have a 30 foot swath of open ground. Once I have that 30 foot swath open, then I'm gonna get in here with the, the trailer and the tractor and the harvester, and uh, we'll be able to start harvesting and we'll keep going until this variety's done. All right guys, so I just finished up my vine training and my dad actually hopped in the diverter. And like I said, he's gonna divert about six beds, just 30 feet, and he's gonna open it up. So that way tomorrow morning when we get here, the harvester and the tractor pulling the tomato tub can get in there and get everything going. So I'm gonna take you guys inside and out of sort of what this thing does. All right guys, so dad's about to finish up the vine diverting and uh, that'll be good for tonight. Then tomorrow, Monday morning, Labor Day, we'll be here first thing and uh, stay tuned because this is gonna be a big day. Morning guys, September 2nd. Uh, we're here uh, Labor Day and uh, we're picking tomatoes down at Hampshire Farm, like I said yesterday. And uh, six in the morning, it's pretty foggy, but we're gonna get started, get things going and uh, hopefully get our three loads picked and then we can help uh, Dad and Kevin and Corey with whatever else they need and uh, head back to the shop. And I might get some tomato spraying in later today, so we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so I almost finished my first round this morning, and the tomatoes are a lot better here than where we were at yesterday. The trailer's just filling up a lot faster. <laughs> the fruit's a lot bigger and better color, so overall this should be a better day than 
than I had yesterday, but basically I want to show you guys kind of exactly how this harvester works. So the tomatoes are picked up right there on the header. There's two big cutting wheels that essentially slice the, the roots of the plant and the stem and brings it up the header chain and it brings it up into a housing up there that has a, a shaft with a bunch of fingers that knocks the plant from the fruit and pretty much devines the fruit. And then the vine is sent through a chopper and the chopper chops up the vine and it's discharged out the back. Then the tomatoes come through the uh, optical sorter and the green and the material other than tomatoes like corn cobs, uh, dirt clods, stuff like that are sorted out and kicked out the back. And then all that's left is a final sort table here with red tomatoes hopefully, but then we have some uh, some people there at the sort table that are, you know, picking anything else out that the, the sorter didn't get. And then it's taken up this discharge elevator. And this elevator puts it in the, uh, the semi-trailer. And these are fiberglass tubs that are pulled by a track tractor or a four-wheel drive tractor with a dolly. And that's how that's loaded. Pretty simple. Uh, I'm running 1.3 miles an hour. And right now we're actually running two harvesters. Um, in prior years, we only ran one harvester. We always owned two, but this one was kind of set up just for muddy days. Uh, we scraped this thing of all the weight that we could possibly take off, put on some big float tires on it. So that way when it gets muddy, we can get in here and pick and you're not pulling a big heavy machine around because the machine that my dad's in is pretty heavy. But now that I'm home from college, uh, we're able to get two harvesters going and uh, we'll probably pick a total of 10 acres per day. My dad will pick six or seven and I'll pick three or four. I don't normally run all day. I'll pick three loads just to get the trucks on the road. And then once the trucks are on the road, uh, then I can um, go back to the shop and you know either spray or do other things that we got to do. Um, it's just nice to have two to get going in the morning in case you know one of the harvesters has a problem. Then we still got one going. Uh, getting tomatoes out. As far as harvest goes, we generally start around between the 15th and the 20th of August. This year we started around August 25th just because of the wet spring we had. It was just tough to get in on time and get things started. We'll harvest for about 50 to 55 days straight. Um, ideally no breaks because that just means, you know, time of the tomatoes could be coming out there just sitting out there. So. Ideally, we go 50 to 55 days straight, 14 to 15 loads a day, depending on what Red Gold has for us. By the time we're done with tomato harvest, we're getting towards the end. We're also cutting soybeans and picking popcorn and picking seed corn. So by that time comes around, it's time for us to finish up here so we can get other things done. <laughs> So I just finished up my last load. Um, we got a total of 16 for today. I think I loaded like five. So that means my dad's on number 11 right now. But like I said, if I did say it before, his machine runs twice as fast and he's got a few more people on there and he's got double sorters. So he can cut through acres a lot quicker than I can, but anything extra helps. So we're going to go back and we're going to take a look at his machine and I'm going to give you guys the ins and outs on how that thing runs and works.
so this was definitely a video that I've been wanting to make for a long time now. I always get a ton of questions about, you know, the, the aspect of our operation with respect to tomatoes, you know. So much different than a lot of traditional other farms around, you know. We diversify ourselves with tomatoes and sort of been a staple to our farm. Um, and also, I have nothing but good things to say about Red Gold. You know, they're family owned, our farm is family owned. We've been with them since the early 90s and it's just so great to do business with people that have such similar morals and values and you know strategy as you do. So I, I, if I had to suggest you guys something, if you've never heard of Red Gold, look them up. And if you are, we got really good tomato products. They're Indiana, Michigan, and Ohio grown, but primarily Indiana. So support your Hoosiers. And um, yeah, we appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you at the next one.